I joined civil services as Pakistan Administrative Service Officer, went for a master's degree abroad in UK, which was irrelevant to the civil services. I'm a hardcore first degree electrical engineer, worked for Siemens for three years before my master's. I joined the service and they told me that engineers are not needed in civil service. You don't have relevant degrees. The master's you have is engineering and management, which is ERP solutions, which is very good in UK, US, in SAP, but not in civil services. So I went again for doing a master's from Kennedy School in public policy. And then came 2013. In 2013, I was heading as a DCO of Faisalabad. In summer of 2013, for the, at least for 20, 30 days, I was on the roads trying to mitigate the situation which was arising because of these energy rights. And this was going on in Lahore, this was going on in Punjab. The average uh, shutdown was of 12 to 14 hours in big cities and 19 hours in villages and small cities. While I was working there as a DCO, in the headquarters in Punjab, the chief executive was looking for a person who could try to mitigate the energy crisis. They wanted to use every resource that Punjab has to mitigate this crisis because after the 18th Amendment, this is the job of the provinces also. So what do we have in Punjab? We have dam sites, no way. We have oil fields, no, no. Gas? Of course not. Maybe wind. Oh, that's at Gharo or at Balochistan. So what do we have? We have people. We have demand. But no resource to tap except one. And that's everywhere. And that's solar. Solar. Are you crazy? Nobody has done it in Pakistan. It is the rich man's energy. It's for the people who talk green because they have already ruined the green. <laughs> Nobody has done it. Not even a single megawatt is installed on grid in Pakistan. Pakistani grids, they are not smart grids. This is for Germany. Germany has 32,000 megawatts. What do we have? Zilch. Okay, let's find somebody. So the chief executive of Punjab said, I think this guy can do it. Everybody stood up and said, no way. He doesn't know a company. He has never been on a board. He's not a manager. He is a civil servant. Civil servants are average, mediocre, lethargic. They don't want to work. How could he do it? You are crazy. 15 days went by and he decided to post me there. So they posted me from, I was holding a charge of DCO, commissioner and FDA head. I had eight offices and he posted me as a CEO and I ended up like him as a startup. No office, my own personal laptop, no Evo, no car. The company was about to start no bank account for six months. In government, if you want to open bank accounts, it takes you four to six months for a startup and no employee. I was unable to pay people which I employed after three months for another six months. And then there was a timeline. We want to do it because we haven't done it in years. And what do you want to do? Have a 100 megawatt solar plant and a 1,000 megawatt solar power. What is the average size of a solar plant in the world in 2013? Any guess? 10 megawatts. 10 megawatts. 100? Impossible. Who knows about solar in Pakistan? Nobody. What is the mindset? Are you crazy? We have never done it and we will never do it. It's damn expensive. People told me, he is sleeping at night. He doesn't sleep at night. If the sun is out, he will go. 
कितना वेला है एंड वी डोंट हैव पीपल हेयर सो ऑल माय सीनियर्स आल्सो दे दे व्हेन आई वेंट टू सी देम दे सेड दैट वी आर सॉरी वी ट्राइड बट आई थिंक ही हैड हैड यू इन योर इन हिज माइंड एंड सो ही पोस्टेड यू हेयर सो वी आर एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी आई वेंट बैक होम आई हैव अ लविंग वाइफ अ वेरी स्मॉल केड आई हैव केयरिंग parents who are always praying for me there was no office so i went back home i stayed there for 3 days just stayed in my office in my home for 3 days i was a little depressed i thought that i think that's it finished kaput the career i was heading like this is going to be like this because everybody predicted the doomsday in those 72 hours I took off my jacket and rolled up my rolled up my sleeves. If this is the battle I have to fight, I will fight it right head on. <laughs> That was October 2013. In 6 months time, the company tendered the 100 megawatt power plant and the contract was signed in June 2014. that is 6 to 8 months from the day the company was joined by one of person without a second employee which joined on the 1st of december this was the first ever solar power plant in pakistan which is gigantic size of 100 megawatts i'll take you one step back again in october when people were talking about everybody from abroad whether a pakistani origin or an international repute firm they came in and they said sir we will do it but you don't have tariff you don't have a grid code so we would like to do it for more than 20 cents per kilowatt hour and then they used to have dinners and lunches with the big boss and big boss tries to bring people in and then they come and they say that we will do it for 20 cents the government decided to have a park we made a park with the land roads and availability of uh, evacuation and water and still they come in and tell us that we yes we are going to have your expensive lunches because you host that lunches for us because you are inviting us but we will build it for 20 cents at least because there is no tariff there is no benchmarking no expertise at that time the government decided that this company the qaidazam solar is going to build the first 100 megawatts power plant in this uh, whole 1000 part the idea was to build in a fashion that somebody can replicate it somebody can take it as an example and we can multiply it so instead of taking 10 megawatts because if you multiply 10 megawatts it take ages to reach to 1000 value we took 100 megawatts we hired people from people like you all fresh graduates all fresh graduates or masters degree holders from abroad from pakistani uh, good comp- uh, engineering universities even from lums and we hired some senior people because i was out of the sector so i don't know much about the sector some senior people from the sector and we went to do this job you will see in one minutes presentation uh, right now that what kind of job we have done but that was exactly not the job we did this is a part which i would say a 20 25% of exactly what we have done the problem that we face is that nobody believed in us there was a huge resistance from the sector for renewable energies in solar the reason for this is that no bank wanted to come in and invest in it so we opened this company because now i would ask you to open a company and her to open a company and do it again the government gave me 25% of the equity we went to the market as an independent ipp 
under SECP. And we got the 75% from as a loan from the bank. We went to the uh, tariff negotiator. The tariff was given as a 17 cents tariff. It's still expensive. We did our tendering and got our best competitive price in 2014 in the world. The tariff came down from 17 to 14 because of this 100 megawatts. We went to the market, hired consultants, and negotiated the energy purchase agreement. This is the most difficult part, which you will never see because this cannot be shown on a presentation. What is the outcome? But before I move to the outcome, I would request you to have a 60 seconds snapshot of what we did on ground. So this is it. Is it? I don't think so. This is exactly 50% where we are right now. What next is that the 1,000 megawatt solar park is overly subscribed. We have a demand of 1,800 megawatts lined up, queued for that 1,000 megawatt solar park, which was unbelievable in 2013. The tariff has now reduced to less than 11 cents, which is very affordable as compared to your tariffs of, uh, uh, of oil, which are like from 14 to even to 28 cents. So a dream of solar, which was born in probably a European country, is actually a dream of Pakistan. What are we going to do next from here is we are going to sell this 100 megawatt solar power company in the market. This is not the job of a civil servant to come here and run our companies. Our job as civil servants are to create an environment, a conducive environment in which you guys can come up as entrepreneurs, as owners, as businessmen, and make Pakistan prosper. I believe that government plays 3.72 billion rupees in it. And I'm not going to give this a number because it's a million dollar number, but we are going to get far more than that when we sell it. 1,000 megawatts, overly populated, company ready to sell. In two years' time, we earned a billion rupees already for this company as our equity uh, return. And another more are coming up for a sale. That's it? No. What next? Forget it, this sector is done. I mean, this huge size of solar power plants is now overbooked. The next step is we need to go for small solar plants. We need to go for distributed solar. We need to reach people who are not in this room. I will, this is not my quote, but this is a quote of a farmer in, uh, in California, which said that the best thing in the world is to have love of God in your heart. The second best thing is to have electricity in your home. <laughs> My message here is, there are two messages that I have. First message is that you cannot be a super duper hero all the time. 
but you can always rise to the occasion. Hard work and your family support are only two things you need, nothing else. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And you can do it. You can do it far better than anybody else, including myself, in this life. Why? Because you are far more intelligent. You have far more capabilities. You are the new generation. And you have more enthusiasm, trust, and ability to perform in this country of our own. And I request you to consider that, that whatever we do here is going to make this nation proud. And together, we can do it.